Praise the Lord, 41. I came back. Here we are, 41. And uh, I said I was going to read from uh, Luke again. This uh, angel talking to, uh, to, to Mary. It's worth starting this conversation again with, with the angel and Mary. Now, Gabriel was sent from God. This was, I'm back in uh, Luke chapter 1. And verse 26, I said, in the sixth month, the angel, what was the sixth month, you remember? Come on, it hasn't been <laughs> that long. Well, the sixth month, it was the sixth month that Elizabeth was pregnant with John the Baptist, the man, the man who would become John the Baptist, all right? Elizabeth, the cousin of Mary, right? In the, in the sixth month, of uh, Elizabeth's pregnancy. Mary wasn't pregnant yet. The angel Gabriel, now he, I have to know how special it was that an angel actually came to Mary. <laughs> and he, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. He was of the house of also Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. And you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. No end to the reign of Jesus Christ. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative, Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. She was really too old to conceive a son. But God gave Elizabeth and her husband a miracle baby, just like Jesus. <laughs> Jesus being born was a miracle child. A, a miracle of God's. Jesus would be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And that's why I say anything uh, you may be going through your life, you may think to yourself, uh, life will never be any better. And I shared... Uh, during my first messages, uh, how, how I thought that more than 30 years ago. I said, life will never be any better. I was miserable. And I was thinking about giving up on life. And that's a lie. Don't ever believe that life can never be any better. Because nothing is impossible with God. God can show you the way through everything. God can make a way for you through everything. 
go to God. Lord God, uh, show us the way through every day, I pray. And Lord, uh, thank you, Jesus, that you said you are the way, the truth, and the life. You give us life, and you sustain our life, Lord God. And you give us a way to keep going on in this life. Until that day, you call us home to live in your kingdom, in your your, your heavenly kingdom forever with you. Thank you, Lord. You show us the way. Amen. And any, any time we feel discouraged, let's go to God and just ask Him, Lord, show us the way. And He will. Through every situation, every situation in life because nothing is impossible with God. We can, I, I can think of things in uh, my marriage, uh, you know, almost married 40 years now. And uh, sometimes you think, Lord, how, how am I going to get through this mess <laughs> that I've made? <laughs> and and uh, I, I'm amazed how God makes a way uh, for us to keep going on and uh, loving one another, my wife and I. So I want to keep reading here. It says, uh, and Mary said, well, for nothing will be impossible with God. Now verse 38. And Mary said, behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Again, and Mary said, behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. That's what we need to do. We need to know God's word. We, know, we need to obey God, what he says, just as uh, the mother of Jesus did, Mary. And the angel departed from her. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in, in Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For now she was pregnant with the Son of God by the Holy Spirit. And why is this granted to me? Elizabeth said this. And why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. We need to leap for joy by Jesus. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. <laughs> I'm going to read this part, verse 44, from chapter 1 of Luke. For behold, when this, this is what Elizabeth said, For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. She believed, Mary believed, that what the angel Gabriel told her would be fulfilled. And she was blessed because of it. And when we believe God, that he'll see us through everything and give us a way through everything, we are blessed by God. And we go on with the Lord. And then the scripture says this, as I read before. And Mary said, 
My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Because the Savior was going to be born. The Savior of the world was going to be born by her. For he was looking, for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. And his mercy is for those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has shown strength with his arm. Strength. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things. In the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. And he spoke to our fathers as he spoke to our fathers, I'll start, fifth, start this again. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. As he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his offspring forever. Remember, the offspring is Jesus Christ. That's what she's talking about. Her little baby in her Jesus Christ. Thank you for being with me. And we I hope to continue this series on the seed. Jesus Christ. God's plan to save us. To bring us a Savior. To live in us. And to love us with a great love. You are loved by a great God. You are worthy. God has made you worthy and of great worth. You are loved by God, by Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of lords. God bless you.